These children while you're trying to watch those. 1600 damage, Jesus Christ. Unseasoned boiled chicken breast. It probably tastes like nothing. And dryness. I love the extra uh, mention of. Uh, the fact that the lady was uh, wider than Wonder Bread. It's like, yeah. Uh, Where are you going? I don't know. This is not counting kind of level two. Oh yeah, but you like came to an area and then you immediately turned back. Because there's nothing there. It was a dead end. Feeding my Digimon babies. Did you search the right side for anything new? And play up the top? Okay. Arianne says, I barely get Karens at my workplace, but in February, there was like a fucking homeowners association in the cafe. They didn't like the fact that I was gay, which they didn't even know I was. They just assumed I was because I was wearing rain rainbow gloves. Oh my gosh, this sounds so fucked. Shuppet says training no, training is no fun. Take me off sign already. I reply, <laughs> I think about it if you get stronger, I keep up the training. Oh that's kind of a dick comment. It is. Yeah, this is under Kellen level one. We're still under Kowloon. Are you supposed to be under Kowloon or just like in Kowloon? In Kowloon level, level 2, I think is what it said. I only have Kowloon level 1. Then go to Kowloon level 1 and look around? Go back to the green elevator, says so book. So hot. Yeah, hey, book one. No. One of them called me the Mac. Ah, my clothes are slack. Ah. God damn it. These babies need to fuck off. I just. I just don't get why there are people who are so bitter that they feel the need. To just decide, like, just randomly be bigoted to random people in their place of work. Someone said online that he's in the path that leads to treasure. Do you want more work stories? I mean, if you want to tell more. I know I've watched quite a few r slash fuck you Karen videos. God damn it. Just feeding my Obi-Jamon. Oh god. That poor plant. No, 
it's just kind of like if you're like if you've got like a reptile or a, like like a snake and you feed them pinkies except your snake is probably big enough to where you shouldn't be feeding them pinkies anymore just probably like old rats it's you know it says so this old straight couple came in at around 3 p.m when we start giving out pastries to those sitting at tables they didn't like the fact that I had they them on my name tag. So after 40 minutes of service, I went to see if they had a tip. I, oh. Nope. They put money inside a cup full of water upside down so I'd have to spill it everywhere and surrounded the glass with catch. What the f That's so. <laughs> Oh, damn. Inside a cup of water. So, I have to... What? That's ridiculously unhinged. Like, it's not just being a dick. It's like, I'm going to be a dick in the most stupidly unnecessary and convoluted way possible. And they're they're getting mad over pronouns. Uh, we're just points the money with. Oh yeah, I was. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that just makes me think of like I've seen a lot of things about like how. Like on Sundays, a lot of service workers talk about how they get like what which could be really big and generous tips, and it just turns out that it's like a fucking church leaflet that's been made to look like fucking money. Damn. So instead of tipping these fucking asshats, following the religion that was started by a guy who said that if you're a fucking rich man, you're unlikely if it's possible at all to get into heaven. They think that the thing that that guy would condone the most is making underpaid, commonly minimum wage workers or less than minimum wage workers think, oh, I've got a good tip. Oh, wait, no, it's just these fucking asshats informing me of this religion that I've seen my entire life. <laughs> like, that's... That's a part of the thing that baffles me about this. Do these, do these fuckers think that people in the United States don't know what Christianity is? <laughs> this is the like this is probably one of the single most Christian countries in the world. Christianity is fucking everywhere. Yeah. Oh, I'm Scottish? Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Well, to be clear, like I'm not uh I'm not speaking specifically to you. This is just like me thinking about the shit that I've seen in like R slash FU Care. It's like it's a really common thing over here in the States. But I mean hell yeah, even over there, like like people know what Christianity is. If they're if they're interested in your deity, they're going to seek out the deity. You don't need to shove it down their throats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty sure people in Scotland know what Christian at least too. True. I still can't it's... find out where the fuck I am with this go. Well yeah, but Jerry specifically like I I don't know of any incidents of people doing this like fake tipping bullshit with like the leaflets. Sex but do we know what sex bomb is? Wait, what? Sex bomb? Yeah. Am I, what's sex bomb? I believe it's a thing. Oh, okay. An amazing song. Good job. No, oh, what's the thing? Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Touch it. I'm pretty sure it is not a band. I'm pretty sure it is a song. Because I have listened to that song so many times. Darwin said, good job, so I assume it's a song. But yeah, it's just like... (sighs) Like, I think especially for me, coming from the perspective of being a Norse heathen, for me to find my place with my religion, I had to actively search it out. Like, I had to actively put in a lot of effort to learn about the deities that I'm interested in. And, like, piece together how I wanted to do my practice. The average person in America doesn't have that. And yet, in this instance, it's not the it's not them. It's it's not heathens and minority religions that are doing this over the top. Hey, are you aware that our God exists? No, it's the people from the single largest religion in the world acting like people here in the States don't know about your God. Everyone knows what your God is when you're Christian. Well, maybe not the exact interpretation of your deity, but we know what Christianity is. Uh... Patrick, they don't do that because you, they don't think you know it, but they think you don't know enough. <sighs> they want you to be a grandmaster of their faith while ignoring your faith or lack of faith. Because you don't believe in what they believe in, therefore you must not know enough. Yeah. And then on top of that, like, add in the pretty standard uh issues of like which specific denomination are we going about because uh because that changes a lot too okay ariana says here's another school story the lunch lady is lesbian yeah that's a good hook i found out she was a lesbian and i said that's good for her and she got her wife to work at the school so they were lunch ladies together. Lesbian lunch ladies. Fucking us. Aww. That's really sweet. No, I never broke that gate up there. Because I never could. But now I can break that gate. That was a bit overkill. No, 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 what's shit? This is also a bit overkill. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Put those things on a leash. I don't think there's a leash big enough for you coming under. Well, you could try. No, Get it custom imagine. made. I just imagine like a Norse guy putting a leash on your coming under. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this was supposed to be the first wall I'm supposed to have. Oh, seriously? Yeah. You were su- ha- supposed to have this forever again. Yeah. I mean, they did that to Fen. They did. They did a. They did a little more than leash up Fen. Ah, uh, this is probably the boss area. Right here. Plus, so uh, plus Fenrir would would have been. In this significant, like, if we're talking about like trying to envision the gods as physical entities, Fenrir would be significantly smaller than Yomagandu. Uh, Aaron says, "Best of all, they met at like some Simpsons <laughs> convention, <laughs> and their legal names are Patty and Selma." Aww. Wait, what the fuck is that? Goblin Ball. Ugh. It's dead. I'm glad it's dead. I don't want to see that thing ever again. Oh gosh, it just reappeared. Bookworm. 
dinosaur's member. This is gonna be the team you're on, actually. Goblimon actually evolved into Ogremon, which is actually a pretty trippy, uh, Digimon. Yeah. It was able to go toe-to-toe with Leomon, if I remember correctly. Yeah. They were always considered rivals. Then one version of the Digimon, uh, in one of the Digimon universe, like, cartoons, Mm -hmm. Ogremon actually ends up helping the Digi Dustin. Yeah, I remember that. We gave you permission to come here. Hey, are you listening? Oh yeah, I was about. Oh yeah, I was about to ask. Were you wanting me to voice this guy? Uh, I mean, you could have wanted to. The dinosaurist member. Yeah, that's why. That, yeah, that's why I said this is probably the team you would join. <laughs> That sounds- that's dinosaurist. That sounds like you're racist to dinosaurs. What the hell is one of those things Ogremon can evolve into? Is Rebellamon? Rebellamon apparently has a chainsaw for one hand, a robot arm for the other hand, and like... Let me just- Copy and paste the picture of Rebellamon. The chainsaw, you said. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, no, di dinosaurus. Not vaginosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to joining that group either. Oh, that's actually badass. Yeah. Oh, oh it's not. Oh, it's not a chainsaw. That's like a circular saw. Oh. Yeah. So it's slightly less bright themed, but I think it's requirement that we get that. Eventually. I think it's yeah. the pose that made and the size of the picture that made me not realize. You're right, it is circular. So I found a bigger version of that picture. And yeah. Oh, it, no. There's there's something new in pornography. That was by Spoon. They put that there a while ago. Well, I just noticed. Blind. Oh, the fuck. <laughs> hey, Hedge, you got a voice line. Oh. Uh. Arr! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna read this comic out aloud. Oh. Okay. Uh, man in armor walks up to another man in armor. New recruit, sir. Reporting to guard the secret of the tower, sir. And what first rule of the tower? Never fuck a snake, no matter how sexy it is. <laughs> well, that's not the first rule, but that's a good one. Oh, is it don't show outsiders the secret room? That's right. Now go fetch wood. Okay, so he goes off, gets wood, and he's got a a fucking giant snake with big boobas slithers up, and the snake says, Wanna fuck? He says, Yes. Let's go in the secret room. Okay. <laughs> this comic is so cracked out. It's just a snake with big tick. If you. Here's a PSA. If you have a pet snake, and it looks like it's growing tits. Take it to the vet. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a, a health problem. Because that's, like, I'm willing to guess that that's a tumor. Probably a tumor. Well, it depends on where it, uh, where it is developing. If it's in the stomach, then uh, rather than tumors, it might be stones. Oh, yeah, true. 
But I mean, up where where like the breasts are at on that comic, I'd be thinking that that's probably not in the stomach. Yeah. Knuckle beater. Then again, snakes do have really long stomachs, don't they? So, fuck if I know. The stomach is long, the lungs are long, everything is long, so they all fit inside. The snake is a giant tube of organs. <laughs> Can we have that quoted? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> it's a giant tube of organs. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, that's kind of just how all of us are, aren't we? We're just differently shaped tubes of organs. Everything is long, including the right. I mean, that's not right. That's book. That was all I was gonna say. What the fuck did I do? <laughs> You know what? Bookworm's saying this in your chat, so it's technically your fault by proxy. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, do snakes even have dicks? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they actually have two dicks. Oh, uh, right, yeah. I, I feel like I've seen that. I'm not furry porn to know it. Oh. But... Actually, I think if I remember right, some uh, snakes have two dicks, some have one dick. You know that? Uh, yes. And it makes sense for them to have dicks when I think about it, because like they're they're fucking reptiles. Well, to be fair, it's not like you'd see the dick unless it came out. Yeah, <laughs> they got the sheep. Here is hatchet. Whoa, I'm so bum. Yeah, I'll take on anyone. <laughs> that can be taken out of context. <laughs> Oh, it's a little dragon. It's about to die. It's... No. Oh, oh. Little. Oh, little dragon. We had that, though. Remember? Wait, we did? Yeah. Damn. I did. I got us to increase the ABI. Mm. Oh yeah, I also looked up Sex Bomb, and, um, yeah, there actually is a name of a band that's named Sex Bomb. Uh. It's a band of uh, girls. Anon says, bitches that are, like, 16 plus suggested on Twitter should just say 18 plus. Like, you either draw massive femboy thighs and or sexualize the fuck out of women or actually just say shit. I mean, yeah. Like, if if the general conversations are going to be very sexually charged, it should probably just be... It should probably just be marked as 18+. plus. Oh I mean, my maybe... Gosh, that's a cool, these guys. I mean, my first thought is maybe they're coming from, like, a place where, like, the age of consent is lower. I think there's, like, a handful of countries in the world where it's like 16 rather than 18. But even then, it's like, eh. Ladies, little tadpoles. Aww. I'm gonna freeze to death. Oh, that's mean. Oh, it lived. <laughs> I thought you would want to stack them. But well, they're not frogs yet. Oh, so, so you'll. So you're gonna be ages to frogs? You can only stack them if they're frogs, but not tadpoles? Well, if I take them out of the water, they're gonna die! Well, stack them anyway! Stack them, in the, stack them into a tube of water! <laughs> and those ones aren't in the water now, are they? You don't know who's in the water right now. <laughs> no, you were not. Considering the fact that you are not currently suffocating or drowning, you are not underwater. Or stack them in the water. We're in data. <laughs> yeah, that's like actually something I mentioned in my Twitter post recently. Is like there's a really weird trend 
that like I've noticed in my talking, like well, arguing with exclus on Twitter, mm-hmm. and it's this odd trend where actual minors, like people under the age of eighteen, will just run around saying extremely sexually charged shit constantly. Oh, and then like like do this invade eighteen plus spaces. And just keep doing it, even though they're being asked to stop, because everyone's made uncomfortable by this. It seems to happen a lot with, like, younger ex loose and anti-shippers. So you have a festival, is that right? Wait, no, that's, that's Jerry's here. Um, yeah, I, I just had time to get my help. <laughs> Well, should I, should I be Mephisto? You can all be Mephisto, but I am. Mephisto be Oh my god! That's so stupid. Hi, Mephisto. <laughs> you want to be Mephisto? <laughs> no. Oh no. I start, I start mm-hmm. smooth. Are you sure it's smooth? You don't want to read Mephisto? Okay. You can give him any voice you want. We haven't heard you read anyone in any of the games Bright played. <laughs> well, I have to just go ahead and. Alright. Oh, too much you be. Don't remember any new appointments. Why does it look like his mask has, like, sideways facing Batman? What? <laughs> I no, like, one. Jeff was someone else. They didn't do that on purpose. It's just black with white. That's yeah. Batman y. Mephisto is knocked off people back. You yeah. had one. Jeff was someone else. <laughs> Jeez. Guess I'd better be more picky with my subcontractors if my client info is leaked. You won't get a chance to be picky. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he says to the hacker. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We know you're the one investigating solo hackers to rape accounts and eat them. Wait, I just realized it looks like Cedar is rubbing my back. <laughs> No, the way I see it looks like you're holding Cedro's mom back from eating the Fisco. <laughs> Both are very possible. <laughs> like, Cedro's Counter- mom, no. Cedro mom's like, are you sure? Staring at Counter- him. Counter offer. You're wearing Cedro mom as like a boa. Cedro mom like would have to go around you at both sides. Yeah, I, I, I just realized. It's more like a cape. Wait, I didn't even think about it. Is there a Siege Mom plushie? I can look that up. Anyway. I'm not here, buddy! Oh, Jerry. Oh. We're here to punish you at Zaxion's behalf. Zaxion. Oh yeah, the rabble gathered under the wet behind the ears of the rat. <laughs> well, isn't this a pickle? I'm in the middle of a job, after all. I don't have time to play with play cops and robbers with you kids. Account trading is a pretty profitable venture. Hackers will bring me accounts by the boatload. Why are you just telling us all this, man? Right. Boatful for a pit, for a pittance, and plenty of people will buy them for a higher price. Playing with you would hurt me a dime. So don't think I'll go wasting my precious time on punks like you. You have no right to meddle my Sir 
You are a fucking thief and a con man. I think everyone has a right to meddle in your business. Yeah. yeah. You talk too much. I'll hand over all of the account data you stole. Mm -hmm. See, book says because it's children's media world, all the bad guys gotta tell us their plans. <laughs> Jerry found one. It's a baby Seijum on neck pillow cushion. I found it by accident. I tried finding it, but in the Google shop area, it's kind of like you need speed draw. Not Cedra Mon, just Cedra. That makes sense. Aww. That's so cute. I may edit a throne later. <laughs> I, oh my. This never happens when I do business in Calvary. <laughs> Underestimate us, you'll regret it. Look, it's not a dinosaur with a beer belly. Why do all the dinosaurs have beer bellies? Not all of them, just, uh, just a lot of them. This dino got a dad bod. Dino with a dad bod versus a uh, dino that looks like they're probably acting in something TV. <laughs> I'm not taking it back. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Ariana says it's a fucking dinosaur, not a bodybuilder. <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't think it's normal for dinosaurs to have beer bellies. Look at these dinosaurs, Digimon, that looks like part crazy part dino, and tell me that doesn't look like it's from something crazy. Tell me that. <laughs> He has a family. <laughs> yeah, we're just beating up some middle aged, like minimum wage worker. Right you can see the difference. It's the difference between the family man and the porn man. You you never saw a fucking dinosaur. You don't know what I mean, besides the fact that I have seen dinosaurs, because birds are dinosaurs. There's the fact that. <laughs> No reasonable scientific reconstruction of dinosaurs would include a beer belt. Not to mention these dinosaurs are largely based off of now very outdated dinosaur reconstructions. Yeah. Because you've got the more kangaroo like posture in most of them. No. But maybe that's for <laughs> If you want to change how paleontologists understand theropods to walk, be my guest. <laughs> go, go get a degree, go find sufficient evidence to change their understanding of how theropods walk and look, and get back to me on that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. No. No way. How could a bunch of green horns? Jerry? Oh, oh, oh. The jury is You. You don't think I'll just hand over my precious product? My accounts? Without it? You already lost! Counts. What the? Yeah. A Hold on, we can chase them later, but counts are our top priority. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry, I'm sor
We pretty much got all of them, but this is less than the number of Zaxion quoted. He must still have the rest of them. Plus, the way he acted bothered me. Let's go. Yay. Yeah, I saw it all. Little way is dragging him down now. Looks like the Dipso and Dipso was there. There aren't any logout zones around there, so this is a good opportunity. Alright, no time to waste. Let's go after him. Now, what Brooklyn says is correct. After I beat the fuck out of this fucker. It means that. Investigate means looking for cases or items, right? I'll try my best. Aww. Wait, how do I go in here? Oh, I gotta go around. Okay. That's right, there's another door I could have gone to, but they said don't. Now to open Twitter. Oh, catch it. Uh -huh. In the chat, there's a, a chibi version of Metal Seedramon. Because Jerry found a little action figure. I mean, it's that. Oh, and apparently as well as Seedramon. You don't see more. Decided to not be talking anymore. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Oh, yeah, you're just Sanish looking at it's... Aww. Yeah, you see both of them. Yeah. Yeah, the top one's the male scene. Yeah. Oh, 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 God is my witness. One day I will find the use of this screen. Oh, that's it. Whoa! I'm so pumped. I'll take on anyone. <laughs> you know what? That sounded nerdy enough to be a member. Wait, he is a black ugly. Yeah, we've been seeing those. Just not yeah. It, like those 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 little friends have been popping up. Uh, Argumon versus Argumon. Oh yeah. Oh. I don't remember if we told you, Jerry, but chat. Uh, we had chat vote on the main. Of our little dinosaur friend. And chat chose the main large claws. So the tiny little bitch following right around is named Large Claws. Sharp Claws. Uh, Sharp nice Claws, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, book one. Uh, that whole time with the a AP ABI. Wasn't pointless, even though I'm not going for that Digimon anymore. Is because in order to evolve Machine Dramon, I need an a ABI of 20, which means <laughs> it wasn't entirely pointless. Yeah, remember, it's K, K 
chaos tomorrow. Not what going for. Claptrap just gave me a bunch of crumpled up money. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pirate. Now. Is he trying to sound like a dinosaur? I don't know. But we're going to hire it. Maybe that's just how he sounds when he's angry. Like he's trying and failing to imitate a monster. Um, Fucking brain! That's not the way to do it! <laughs> dinosaur! <laughs> he's trying to imitate a monster, a moth, or a dinosaur. No. Man, battling these guys are really easy. It's not like I'm over leveled. <laughs> I'm scared of the color blue. Up here we go, cutscene. Oh. That. No. Yeah. <laughs> Hey! Yeah, that really straight up looks like Batman on their mask. It's no stop. Another actor got him first, huh? They just ran off. The other hey. hacker just. That's... Oh, that was for you. <laughs> that was for you, G. Hey. Yeah, who are you? We're the same as you guys. We have business with Mephisto, but what happened to him? Who knows? Mephisto just went to trade accounts like he always does. But he's been acting weirder and weirder. I'm oh, sorry. I mean, I thought it was strange how much cooler than today. But he wasn't cool at all. It was more like he was being controlled by something. Static strings, right? You're fat. Well, what would happen to you? Who knows? He started losing it like he was another person. And also saw what looked like a Digimon behind him for a moment. That might be the cause of his weird behavior. Specifically, it was the Digimon that he had been using to fight. I mean, we can't say for sure, but a digitalized consciousness couldn't have been reinforced by a Digimon. Yeah, to put it simply, Eden's base systems include some sort of mind digitalization process, right? Our minds are scanned when we log into Eden and uploaded to the virtual space's mind data. Downloading that data into Eden's avatar carries our, over our memories from the real world and let us act within the virtual space. Wait, does that mean that they can easily read the memories and see memories of porn? Right! I mean, yeah. <laughs> I feel like there'd be more effective ways to look at porn, though. Yeah. <laughs> Mind data is still data, so it's possible for Digimon pro programs to affect it, pretty much. But that's impossible! The firewall that protects the Mind data is just a pair above all else! So, <sighs> 
That's true. Well, we have to consider the past bit. For now, she made sure Mephisto's gotten his just desserts, right? Case complete. Yeah. No, not yet. That young request was to dispose of rated account data. All stolen accounts must be recovered. I copied Mephisto's son's device info air cap. Please analyze it. I want to know what you did with other accounts. Okay. Okay. Okay, Ormelon, help me out here! Hi, Lisa! Okie dokie! Oh, you can help her out now. Hi, Lisa! Lisa, help me see you, Blah. Let's see, here I know it's so popular with, with other users. That's the one. What kind of business is that? It's called Yummy Baking. The fuck? Hmm. This definitely seems like some shady business. It almost sounds like a practical joke. It seems with this sound. Sold accounts to this business. The most important guy is named Taru Kayaba. The accounts were transferred under the corporate server. Let's infiltrate it ourselves and steal the data back. But the right. little lady and I should act as back if I suppose. Well, we'll have someone else for a moment. Right. Toru Kaiba, the next target Kay told me about. Maybe I should tell Ryuji and the others about Kay. Aaron! You alright? It's time to go. No, it's not over yet. So where do I gotta go? What's not over yet? I, I wasn't able to uh, unlock more storage. You can go. You can go to the financial institution server now. Oh. <laughs> also, how do you know you haven't been given more memory? Pretty sure we're totally by now. Is this the first time you've infiltrated a server? It's the same as Eden area. The servers are constructed to allow avatars to move around. And there are pros and cons, but trust is there for disadvantage. Constructing servers in cyberspace lessons us visualize them. I still hit the button. Above all, Eden system is a cutting edge fortress of security. Just having a server in Eden garden garners a certain kind of social credibility. With conventional hacking, it's almost impossible to touch server security from inside. But everything changed with the advent of the Avatar of the Digimon program. Of course, the downside is the high level hackers like us can infiltrate them now. Of course, the admins are fully aware of this. As for servers like this are often unmanned. That's because they
are quite confident in our security. We just have a whole shit ton of Digimons around. Yeah. Let's charge through there. Take special care not to injure that side of there. Let's see. Yeah, we're going here, Digimon. Yeah, 17 of 20. Right. I'm going just... to comment. Is one of the Digimon roaming around literally an old version with winning? Of that one Digimon that throws poop. Yeah. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna see. Have you like looked in have you looked in the shop to see if there's like upgrades there? I remember Brooklyn saying that you have to complete chapters in order to get more space. Party room. Oh, okay. And I actually will have max party memory with getting Greymon. I'm assuming oh. this is Greymon. Let's hope. Because I remember it looking like exactly that. Greymon. Aw. Oh. Sharp gloss. Ah! Alright, so now I need to go over here. Over here. Alright, what do I need from Mega Dramon? I need them at level 26, attack 95, HP 400, speed uh, 95. Book said, yeah. And the thing I saw online said, after you beat this, this first though, you should be able to never be up. Just to beat him with my first day. Yeah, I think it's this one right here. Yeah, because that's Skull Greymon. We're not going for him. We're going for this one right here. So. Oh, so all we need is 26, level 26, attack 95, speed 75. Alright. Well, now we have three giant ass Digimon. Why are we still seeing baby Digimon? Yeah, these are fucking security measures. Oh, yeah, sharp claw. Sharp claw. Sharp claws is fucking swollen. Yeah. Well, we gotta do all that. Does he still have his beer belly? Maybe. Oh, he has a new move called Mega Flame. Oh. Yeah, he still has his beer belly. <laughs> yeah, just wait till you see what it evolves into, actually. But I like him like this. Mega Turtle to make a route appear on the floor. Oh, you can use a memory of XD from the item section of the Digivice menu to increase the memory to make it back. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Up to 25. So, yeah, so it goes up by 5. Okay, so probably after we beat this, we'll get probably get another memory up. Yes, you will. You okay. didn't even you didn't even think to check in your items. <laughs> well, both of also did more. <laughs> and he looked it up. I love you, both you and Jerry. Ice archery. I just want to imagine trying to. To see see Tremont hold a bow and fire an arrow. Look says, yep, and there is special memory up that will increase the bow. Oh damn. That also exists. Yeah. Nice thunder. Nice. 
So Sharp Claws has a ways to go before they can digivolve. Oh shit, I didn't even see when Seedramon digivolves. Or the Gold Gardramon digivolves. Probably should have looked at that. You mean the whole marks? I mean Robo marks? Yeah. I'm not sure if I changed it. Oh, yeah, I did. Can I go in the center? Oh, wait, I, I literally just left a treasure check. That treasure check. Level 3 for Seedramon, right? Uh, maybe. Did you just say you left the treasure chest? Maybe. <laughs> treasure chest. Tre tre treasure chest. Tre treasure chest. Treasure Now I got a really good balanced team. How did that not do much damage? <laughs> Andrew Mondigi evolution requirements are level 28, attack, defense, and INT, all 75. Okay, so C Tramon and Gold Guard Tramon are almost close. Like, really Jesus. close. Jesus Christ, fucking Discord is having issues. Oh. Discord for Captain Boy. Discord is transphobic. That was the Discord last thing they heard. Discord is not transphobic. It hates everyone equally. D Hatchet, you that would include Discord. being transphobic. Hey, Hatchet. Well, no, that means just hating people. Anyway, like I was trying to say, uh, Hatchet, uh, you saying Discord is transphobic was the last thing stream heard before I left. <laughs> but yeah, like if so if someone hates everyone equally, that means they would have all of the prejudices. No, it means they just hate everyone. They don't hate anyone any less or more. Also, why don't you boost the thing that's red over there, Bright, in the, in the center? Prejudice doesn't require hating something more than another thing. It just requires hating a thing. See? That? That's, that was the open this area. I thought red meant it wasn't open. No. Oh. It doesn't change color. <laughs> yeah, it does. Money you boost turns gold. Making sure they don't notice their security's been cracked is what is what hacking's all about, really. If they realize we've broken it, the admins will just bump the security after all. I just find it funny how he's saying that when there's literally a giant sea a serpent, a golden mech, and a dinosaur. Standing well, next to him. That doesn't matter because they don't see anyone in the server. So you need to make yourself non noticeable. As in, not no as in, they won't see you personally, but they will notice if you do certain things. Yeah, anyways, that's you. Uh, we will, we have to move. I mean, we have to make sure not to expose the back door we made on the fly. Because they will take care of that from the outside. 